Good afternoon, Spirit Hill families. Today is April 2nd, and it is Good Friday. I wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit about Good Friday and what is coming up for families on Easter. Now, we thought if you could think back over our past couple weeks of Lent, we have been talking about the theme of Acts of Healing, um, a Lenten journey for children, and talking about how during this time of pandemic, um, we've we've experienced a lot of emotions, a lot of anger, a lot of grief for some families, but we've also had some great things, time together, um, being able to see each other in the parking lot at churches, children in school, um, and slowly we are starting to return to some of the activities that we consider normal. Now, as we think of all those things, I'd like us to think about our Lenten scriptures. They can be very difficult for many children to hear, even for adults to hear, especially since we, as a people of God, learn about a loving Jesus who healed the sick and brought the dead back to life and fed the hungry. How is it that today, on Good Friday, anyone would want to kill this man? One way to look at these scriptures is through what each of those involved might have felt when Jesus died. From Mary Magdalene arriving at the tomb on Easter, from seeing Jesus die and be, be crucified to arriving at that empty tomb on Easter, to Joseph of Arimathea, who so graciously gave his tomb to have Jesus be buried in today. If we think about their feelings in the scriptures, and we think about ours, especially during this time of quarantine, those feelings of sadness, anger, doubt, love, and joy, it's so very natural to feel all of those one at a time or all at once, especially when someone we care about dies, whether it is a grandmother, a pet, or Jesus. We are sad that our loved one is gone. We may be angry that we will not be able to spend time with them anymore, but we may be happy and feel joy knowing that they are now with Jesus and God. My very first Lenten season at AHCC many years ago in 2014, a parent and Spirit Hill teacher shared with me what his class had been reviewing during the days of the holy uh, days of the holy week and when the students got to good friday they asked what is so good about good friday if jesus died a perfectly logical question but honestly i thought it was a test to see how i was doing at church and i sat with that question for a good couple days um, because this lesson had occurred the weekend before Good Friday. And finally, I came up with this answer. How could we call a day when Jesus was murdered a good day? In other parts of the world, Good Friday is referred to as Holy Friday or Great Friday. But whatever the day is called, we must remember that even in the sadness and anger of Jesus' death, it was his release from the mortal world that brought about our forgiveness. It was his ascension into heaven to be with his father that is celebrated around the world by Christians of all religions. To have joy, one sometimes must have sorrow, which has been very apparent during our time of quarantine. So as we go into this holiest of weekends, I hope that you will take time to sit in your sorrow and your anger and everything that has frustrated you during this time. But remember that this Sunday, Easter Sunday, the day that our Lord rose, is the time to remember all of the joys and blessings that we have. And sorry, <laughs> tears are coming because <laughs> I want all of you to have a wonderful Easter. And I hope 
that we will all have time to be together in the parking lot of church on Easter morning. Now let us pray. Loving God, bless the children of Asylum Hill Congregational Church with the spirit of joy. May they smile naturally, laugh easily, rejoice in the things large and small. Let the words of the psalmist resound, resound in their lives. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Spirit Hill families, I hope that you will be able to come and join us this Sunday, either at our 615 sunrise service in Elizabeth Park or our 10 a.m. parking lot worship service where we will all come together in a joyful, joyful worship. Please check our website for information and take some time to think about whether or not your family will be able to also join us at 1 p.m. for our community meal. We need volunteers to help set up and serve food, and we need volunteers to donate both shelf-stable items as well as mashed potatoes, pies, and bottles of water. So until Easter morning, families have a absolutely wonderful weekend.